Hi, and welcome to this quick overview of the NetApp AltaVault Cloud Integrated Storage Appliance, the market leading solution for protecting data to public and private cloud storage. In this video, we'll show you that setting up an AltaVault appliance is an easy three step process. The first step of deploying an AltaVault appliance is getting connected to a cloud provider. AltaVault works with a large selection of public and private cloud providers and encompasses over 90% of the cloud provider market. Today, we'll use IBM SoftLayer Object Storage. After logging into the appliance, we'll use the Cloud Settings Setup Wizard to connect to a cloud. You'll select your provider and provide the credentials and location to write the data you'll send from AltaVault. Set an encryption key and apply the settings to perform the connection. AltaVault will validate the connection and once done, become ready for use. Second, we'll need to expose a SIFS or NFS interface to the backup infrastructure. We'll use SIFS in this example. From the GUI, we'll go to the SIFS configuration page and add a SIFS share. Specify the name to the share and where internally on AltaVault the data will be written, then click Add Share. At this point, AltaVault is now ready to accept backups. The third step is configuring the backup application to drive data to AltaVault. The configuration of the backup application will consist of adding a device that points to AltaVault. For example, we'll use IBM Tivoli Storage Manager, or TSM. TSM uses storage pools based on file device classes, of which one has already been configured as shown here. As you can see, the AltaVault appliance is identified by its SIF share within this device. With the setup complete, all that remains is to modify the backup policy to point to this device, and then perform a test backup to show operations. We've already assigned the backup policy to the storage target, so let's jump ahead and perform the backup. Now that the backup's running, let's switch back over and take a look at the graphs of the operation. We can see that we're receiving data and deduplicating it, as shown by the difference in the blue and red lines. The green line represents the deduplication ratio. The front end graph shows that we're receiving the backup, and the back end shows that we're sending the data to our cloud provider. The replication pending graph shows the pending data that AltaVault needs to trickle to the cloud depending on your connection speed. Finally, the cloud operations show the number of operations communicated with the provider to get the data across to the cloud. With that, this concludes this quick demo of using AltaVault. For more information, visit our page at www.netapp.com forward slash AltaVault.